So, here's another question I have about financial literacy. All the time people get their paychecks and when they get them, they understand that they get either a salary or a certain hourly wage, but the totals are always different. And then there's a whole list of other things that come out of the check. A whole list of deductions that often I don't understand what they mean. Most of the guys don't understand what they mean. Can you help us out? Can you help me understand what my paycheck really says? Absolutely. Your paycheck is very important, guys. Do not take for granted. You know, I know you're excited about getting your check and having some money in your pocket. But look at your pay statement to make sure that you have been paid correctly. Because at the end of the day, there is a human being who puts in the timesheets. And human beings do what? They can make mistakes. So you want to make sure that when you're looking at your pay statement, number one, that it's your pay statement. Your name is going to be here with your address, right? The other thing that's important is looking at the pay period. A lot of times guys will call and want to fuss with Kurt and Joe about my pay is not where I work more hours, blah, 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 but they were in the wrong pay period, right? So you need to know from week to week, your pay week, we get paid bi-weekly. So what are the weeks that you worked, right? If it's this week, you're not getting paid for this week on your check that you got last Friday. That will be on the next pay period. So make sure you're paying attention to what the beginning of the pay period, the end is, and then your pay date. The other thing is, it'll tell you what your hours are. If you're getting paid an hourly rate, your rate is going to be here. I think you guys get paid minimum wage, 11 something an hour. So that's going to be there. And then it's going to say this pay period, what you made. And then it's going to say year to date. So then it lets you know from the beginning of this year to that pay period, how much you've made so far in this year. People also ask the question, well, what's the difference between gross pay and net pay? Net pay is what you bring home. That's what your check is going to be when you go to the bank. And that's usually at the bottom. After all of the deductions have come out from state, federal, child support, any other bills that you have coming out of your payroll check, that comes off of the gross. The gross is that total amount that you've made before taxes are subtracted. Make sense? So you're going to check to see it has going to show your holiday pay, um, your holiday hours, your personal leave hours, your standard time, overtime, and sick time. So all of those things get added or subtracted from your gross pay. Then you're going to go down and it's going to have a category for deductions. What's coming out? Your federal income tax is coming out. Your social security tax is coming out. So social security, of course, when you become retirement age, like Mr. Derek, he can retire and that money that he's paid into Social Security will come back to him on a monthly basis. You can't opt out to not pay into Social Security. It's the law. You have to pay it. Just like you have to pay your federal state tax and you also have to pay your Maryland state tax. Medicare tax, that comes out. Again, once you retire, there's not going to be any pot of money waiting to take care of you but it's only the money that you put in for yourself. So it's best that you have additional retirement money as you get older. Right now, I know you're not thinking about that, but you will one day want to, want to wish that you have saved some money to go along with this Social Security uh, money that you will be receiving or you can receive. Then, if there are any other withdrawals that come or deductions that come out of your check, dental, if you pay for dental insurance, there's something that comes out. Eye, vision insurance, it comes out. Um, Long-term disability. Um, we Some companies have a medical flex plan where you can pay or put money aside out of each check to pay towards your medical expenses like glasses or additional dental work or anything that has to do with your health. So those are those exemptions. And after all of those things are subtracted, then your bring home or your net pay is going to be listed here. Some pay stubs will show your sick leave balance, your vacation balance. So you want to make sure that that is correct. But at the end of the day, you want to check to make sure your hours, your rate of pay is correct, and your hours that you work that pay period are correct. Okay? So that's what that's how to read your pay statement. If you have any other questions, feel free to see me or Derek.
Financial literacy, get on it. Stay smart. Stay on top of it. Check your pay statement, gentlemen.